my nerdy friends. In today's video, we are going to dive into the most controversial topic and has been really buzzing around in the tech community. And the question is, is web development dying? Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Vicky May and I am a software developer and as well as a content creator in New York tech scenes. And in this channel, I mainly talked about my experience working in tech and how to get better to be a software developer. But more than just that, I also love to share everything that I learned in life. So if you are just Generally curious about you know tech in New York or the tech space or getting into tech or anything everything about tech this might be the channel for you this is one of those videos that you do not want to miss because if you want and curious about knowing you know the power of AI and how exactly can web developer utilizing AI to help us to become better developers make sure to check out this video and stay till the end of the video and hit that subscribe button to join us on this interesting discussion about AI. All right, all right, everyone. So listen up, AI has become the secret weapon for all of you developers. And I'm not just saying that for the sake of this video. Obviously, I am making this video, so it could be the sake of this video. But long story short, it is like having a supercharged minion that can help you to take your web application to the next level. And exactly how do you do that? Let me explain. It can be used to enhance a lot of different aspects of web development using AI. You can personalize data analytics automation it's a lot of like mind-blowing features that you can use using AI and using the power of AI so for example AI algorithms can analyze user behavior and preferences to provide personal user experience on web there are a ton of applications that allow to create you know logos and any virtual assets and that can also reuse on the website. So what I'm trying to say is that AI power tools are basically here to save the day. In the past, you would have to have so many creativity resources and you will have to have so many help from different aspects of creators and developers all work together to build this project or various features. But having AI really helps developers focus on more complex and creative aspects of the problem. So there are a lot of AI tools that allows you to use to help you to say goodbye to all these boring and mundane tasks during the day, such as writing unit tests. Like nobody wants to write unit tests. Well, we do because we have to, because it's helpful, but it's not exciting at all, at least not for me, not for most developers. So imagine that AI is taking and helping you to complete all these mundane tasks and leaving you the energy and the time to work on things that are more exciting and generally more creative. I assume that now at this point, you're probably terrified or scared because AI just sounds so awesome. And it might be a little bit too awesome to the point that you're like, are they like, to take over us like what is the point of learning web development if AI can just basically take control over all of our tasks well the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is the demand for web development skills and how crucial that is in terms of adding AI into web development so I can tell you this web development as a skills will never go away. And even though some parts of it might be replaced by AI, but every single day business is relying on web applications and websites to be able to interact with their users, to be able to showcase their products and services, to be able to really just giving the user the best experience so then they can make business from the end user. So with all that 
high demand that is from businesses, it makes sure that the users having the best experience is almost like the most highly priority task for a business. Even though AI can help a lot of the areas in web development, every single code base, honestly, it's so unique and it's very complicated and difficult to train the data to be completely understand and replaced by human developers. And I think that one of the most important part that we're missing out here is how do we, knowing what we know, we can leverage AI and closing the gap between AI and web Web development and actually collaborating both of the skills to make remarkable results and to improve our products and services online. Okay, AI isn't perfect. We need that human touch in web development and here is why. Let's get real for a moment. Web development is so much more than just lines of code and technical program. It's a whole combination of creativity, design, and human interaction all coming together. And that's why AI may have its strengths in certain areas, but it's not gonna be the secret sauce that web developers bring to the table. We are talking about that human touch of empathy and intuition. All of that makes a huge difference. See, building websites and applications that truly speaks people's hearts and minds require a understanding of what they need their emotions and their preferences. And guess who's gonna get the upper hand? It's definitely not AI. We got it. We as human, we as web developers, we understand what users need, what users' emotions are. So we're the one who knows how to craft a user-centric experience and make creative solutions. So let's all give credits to ourselves and appreciate the renovations that happen when technology meets the human aspects in web development. Instead of fighting against AI and really try to compete with AI, we shouldn't do that. Like we should never really try to compete with AI. This is not a episode of Black Mirror that we're just gonna fight against all these artificial intelligence and robots. No. What we should do instead is use and leverage the help of AIs to help us to save that energy to be able to solve more complex problems with our creativities. And one of the few benefits that I want to mention that really helps web developer to leverage AI to accomplish things, help to manage you know, repetitive tasks without making humanly mistakes. We are human, we're gonna make humanly mistakes, but AIs are really good with repetitive tasks because they're computers. So it's good to let them do what they good at so that we can focus on what we are good at. The second benefit is AI really eliminates the human error, which I mentioned previously, especially for those caused by tiredness and destruction, right? So that we can allow the AI to help us with those tasks. The third thing is they quantifying uncertainties to make the best decision. Plus they do not have biased views, which is something that I think humans aren't good at because we're biased based off our backgrounds, based off our culture, based off a lot of histories that we had or experiences we have. So with AI, they can quantify from statistics, from you know all these computer algorithms to be able to make pretty unbiased point of view. And that really can help us from eliminating those biases in our point of view. The last one is they may reduce the stress for developers. I think that a lot of times we get so stressed out with all these different tasks that we have to do. So it's nice to just have an assistant like AI to help us to kind of distress all these tasks that is ahead of us. And there you have it, my nerdy friends. All I wanted to say in this video Video is that web development is not fading away. It's far from it. In fact, AI has become
become the trusty assistants of web developers. Like it's boosting our superpowers to make our lives so much easier. So I don't know much about the future. So any of these things that I mentioned before, it could all be false. I am not somebody who are using crystal balls or anything like that. But one of the main reasons that I created this video is that if you are in your journey in web development, I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to look back years later and regret that you did not learn web development and you did not learn the skills that you needed to to become a developer. So I hope this video has given you that courage to continue and please, please keep coding creating and keep pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Peace!